Good morning, it's Tuesday, April 23rd. I hope everybody had a great weekend and I will be continuing on my kitchen batch of CPM 154. So I did get a little progress done on Saturday. Not a lot, but a little bit. I did try a little sandblasting with the new medium we have. Um, it didn't do what I needed it to do. So I'm gonna do a bit more shiny and then I will start doing grind lines as well. Um, and they are, it's a dual stage acid wash. So I'm looking for a little bit of that, that variegation in color. Um, just, it'll help accentuate that, that, that two stage that I'm going to be doing, but I still want them, you know, not nice and flat, etc. Um, so I like starting with a, a nice clean base. So I will continue on these knives today. Um, the handles are ready to, for drilling. So as soon as the blades are ready, I will be able to start drilling and I'll be able to get the handles on within an hour or so. So really that's my plan today. Obviously I've got some, um, some admin to do. It's Tuesday. I've already done part of it. I came in early cause I really want to get, get the handles on these knives. Um, so I knocked out a lot of the admin, but I do have more to do. So that's really my day. And Here's Daniel with what he's got going on. Hey everyone, just to get you caught up with what's going on in my world, I've got everything up to start polishing. I've been doing so, uh, just gonna be on the buffers for the most part today, getting these guys up and then into any other projects I've got in front of me. That's gonna be the majority of my day. I know I'm keeping it kind of quick just so I don't let the time run too long. It is Tuesday, so we do have industry sharpening as well. We're now going to go in our favorite spot with our favorite guy, Russell. What's up, buddy? It's good. What are we talking about today? Today we are talking about a knife that we just got in on consignment. This is a Three Rivers Manufacturing, or TRM, their Atom Liner Lock. Uh, so this one is in the textured gray G10 with CPM 20 CV blade. Um, all the hardware is titanium, I believe. Um, and it's one of the early production models that came with these little um, rubber o-rings on the thumb stud uh, they are removable um, it does come with extra the customer really liked that feel and wanted to make sure he had more of them um, so just nice uh, I mean I'd call it a spear point I believe they call it a drop point but um, honestly I'd say that's more of a spear point it does come brand new in box with all the swag in there there's some stickers um, and some other uh, TRM swag um, it is made completely in the USA uh, proudly represented on the blade um, and so it is up and available for sale if you're looking for one uh, from the research we did there is not many of them in stock anywhere else in the country so if you're looking for one, you can pick it up. Right on, y'all. Well, we'll wrap it up here and start off the week. See you tomorrow. Peace. Good morning. It is Wednesday, April 24th, and I got a little bit more work done on my custom set. Honestly, not as much as I was looking forward to uh, yesterday was not the best day for me with, with admin. Just no lying about it. Um, long, long meeting with, with the accountants, and there's, there's things that just kind of put me in a downward spiral. So not getting into that, but I did get a little work done. I did get some more more posts and things done. I just, it, I had a hard time concentrating yesterday after, the, after that meeting. So I'm gonna keep it pretty short today. I will be continuing to working on, man, my words today are awesome too. I will continue working on these guys today. Hopefully I can get a little farther along with them. Uh, no Daniel today, it's his lovely bride's birthday. So they're taking the day off together and doing whatever it is they wanna do, which is awesome. Um, but outside of that, it'll be Jake and I in the shop today. So we're looking forward to a nice busy day. Um, really, that's it for this part of the day. But now we're gonna go into our showroom old showroom, finishing room now, and talk about a new knife. So what we're talking about today is the brand new Spyderco Para 3 Salt. So this is the one in CPM MagnaCut. This is the lightweight version, so it has the FRN, their bi-directional handle material. The, the lightweights do come with the wire clip, which some people love, some people hate, um, and their compression lock. So this is a, oh my goodness, my fingers work too. And like just a lovely action on that. And it has the Magna Cut, which great corrosion resistance, which is why they put it on the Salt Series in absolutely phenomenal edge retention. Um, so if you're looking for a, a new, small, uh, brightly seen pocket knife, um, it, it's an option. And the, the, some of the benefits are literally like if you drop that in the woods, 
you're going to be able to find it. Um, and if you spend any time in salt water, fishing, or boating, um, it's, it's really not going to corrode. So super cool knife, love Magna Cut. So if you're interested, take a look. Otherwise, find another knife for you. We're going to cut it off right here and I will talk to everybody later. Have a good one. Good morning, it's Thursday, April 25th, and I got some good knife making done yesterday. So the kitchen set of three in 52 and 100 is almost ready for handle. So these two uh, got finished. Uh, the finishes are finished. I was very happy with them. This one, like usual, the back side was gorgeous and the show side was less than stellar. So I'm gonna redo the at last acid wash on this one. Um, I'm then going to uh, tumble them with our stones, do a little bit of a stone wash on them, and then I'll, I'll tape them off and start doing the handle material. Uh, it's already flattened, it's just literally drilling and cleaning up the front, so I should be able to do that today. Um, but I did also get a start on my May custom knives. So these are for a long time customer of ours. Um, and these are uh, very special steels. These are Hitachi White Number no. One Cord Sanmai Damascus that we have Mike Norris make for us. He's one of the country's best Damascus makers. So those are, are for for Mike, and then these will be for stock. So um, we have one or two white. I think we have one white Damascus uh, like Euro Chef in stock. So these will be a nice complement to to just a few knives that we have in stock out of this steel. And then I'll have uh, some little like little utility things as well um, out of that. Uh, so super stoked to have that in stock fairly soon. Um, those are for May, so I'm getting a little ahead because I can't finish the crambit right now until I get the, the wheels uh, milled. So that's really my day. Here's Daniel with what he's got going on. Hey everyone, just to get you caught up with what's going on in my world, just a, another today of polishing. I've got the slicer done. Gonna go ahead and get the hunters worked on and then handles. That's pretty much the majority of my day. See whatever else comes in. It has been a little slow and I was out yesterday, but hopefully we get another kick today. Weather's gonna be a little different, but we'll figure out how that goes as we go along with it. Now, we're gonna go to our favorite spot with our favorite guy. Russell, what's up, bud? It's good. What are we talking about today? Today we are talking about two consignment knives that we have in stock and ready to go. So these are from a good customer of ours, Brian Clark. Uh, if you remember the Randalls, um, is the same uh, customer that has those. So this is a Ruffin Johnson. His nickname was El Lobo Solo. Um, and he's actually in the Texas Legends list. Uh, he did a lot for knife making. Um, in his time. Uh, so you can see he's got the the Lobo on the back of it. Super high polish on this steel. Um, and this is one that I don't know if this knife has ever been used. Um, the sheath shows signs of, of wear, but that could just be from storage. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with this knife. There's like extremely minor scratches right here, and that can just be from rubbing in on the sheath. Um, and then this little guy, um, this is a very unique knife. This is a mains knife, and you can see like he stamped his name um, in the brass right there, and then the model number 62, and then he's got this coin in the back that is, is his logo and um, has his name and information in it. So, super unique little Skinner. Um, he did this compound grind, uh, not your traditional compound grind, where literally there's this ridge right there. Um, but super unique, in excellent condition. Again, this one may have been used a little bit. You can kind of see that little, just the tiniest little scratches just above the edge on it. But they're both in absolutely excellent condition. So if you, if you know about these guys or want to learn more about them, we have all the information on the website, as well as you can come in and handle them um, or just buy them online. Right on. All right, guys, and just to give you a little Spanish lesson, Lobo means wolf, in case you guys didn't catch that. <laughs> so uh, we'll wrap it up here. See you on the next one. Peace. Good morning. It's Friday, April 26th, and yesterday I got the set of three kitchen knives in CPM 154. I got them all glued up. So 
They'll re be ready to go. I will work on getting them down to hand sanding today. Don't know how far I'll get, but that's what I'll be focused on. I did also get some work done on the Hitachi White Damascus knives. Um, so after these are down to hand sanding and or hand sanded, I'll jump back into that batch as well. Um, really, that's it all. That's, wow, words. Uh, that's all I have for today. So uh, I'll turn it over to Daniel and see what he's got going on. Hey everyone, just to get you comfortable with what's going on in my world, I've got some handles drilled up, ready for gluing. Uh, the objective today will be to get everything glued up. I've got liners on these guys, so basically getting liners and handles drilled, shaped, down to size, get the fronts cleaned up, so that way uh, it'll be less clean up post glue up. I will try to do my best to get all of these done and then into uh, some other things I would do want to hand sand and put an edge on this guy since it is ready for stock I also might try and get the retention on it just a little bit tighter towards the front area um, but That is going to basically be the majority of my day and then Jake and I did discuss He wanted to take some of my refurbs off my workload, which I do appreciate So we'll talk about that later on today see what I can give him and go from there um, per usual, I'll also be up front doing some admin stuff right in the beginning and then into some, some work later on. So, show you some progress on that manana. Now we're going to go to our favorite place with our favorite guy, Russell. What's up, bud? It's good. What are we talking about today? Today we're talking about a few discontinued Benchmade knives. So, this just kind of struck my fancy this morning. So, we have the Benchmade Vector. Um, this is a cool knife because this was the very first knife Benchmade ever did a compound grind in. Um, it is on the upgraded side, so it's the CPM 20 CV with titanium bolsters and then G10 scales. Um, it is assisted, so you just touch that flipper a little bit and like all of their assisted knives and automatics have, they have a secondary lock in it. So super cool novelty piece. Um, the fact, so the auto fact is still available and for sale. Um, this is the original fact, um, very lightweight, very stabby. Um, if my hands will work, sorry, my, yeah, there we go. Um, in S 30 V, uh, this is carved G 10. Um, and then it's, it's completely skeletalized, so it's lightweight. Um, then we have another assisted knife. This is the Arcane. Uh, also a very stabby uh, spear point um, with a little bit of a flipper. Boop! And then see that, that it's got a very different secondary lock. I really do like that. Um, really, the, the one thing about this is this, this aluminum is just, it's pretty slippery. Um, it doesn't open too hard, so it doesn't slip out of most people's hands, but... Um, it is a, a, just a really cool knife. And then the only Griptilian we have left in stock, this is the 555, the mini sheep's foot. Um, and this one, so it's got the big hole in it. Uh, in uh, CPM S30V, one of the Mel Pardu designs, they, they had these in stock and, and for sale for absolutely years. So we've got two of these left. Um, just trying to bring some attention around them, see if we can't get them moving out the door. Right on. All right, y'all, we'll wrap it up here. See you tomorrow, wrap up the week. Good morning, it's Saturday, April 27th, and I've gotten two of the set completely hand sanded and buffed, uh, ready for edges. I've got one that is right at a thousand grit, so I will get this one hand sanded, and then I'll get edges on all of them, and then call this customer, and these will be DUN done. So, super exciting. Um, glad to have these at that, this stage, and looking forward to finishing them. So, that's my day. Gonna wrap it up quick here for, for Daniel to see what he's got going on. What's up everyone? Just to get you caught up with what's going on in my world, I've got progress on the slicer. It is glued up. I should be shaping handles today, hopefully. Um, got these two glued up as well. And there was a third. I accidentally went a little too fast, got some target fixation, and didn't realize right during my glue up that my fronts were in on my Ricasso, so I need to bring them back. Uh, had to basically soak everything in acetone to get all the epoxy that I had on them. So a little frustrating, but it happens. Uh, I ended up getting to a razor last night that I needed to get sharpened for today. So I'm pretty much at the ending grits. I'll do this real quick, finish it up. So that way the customer will have it ready for them and then get onto this glue up with the knife that I've got here. Once I pull the fronts down and go from there and then handle shaping, hopefully. So it is Saturday. We do tend to be a little busy. Um, 
we'll see how that goes and we'll go from there. Uh, now, we are not going to go in our favorite place with our favorite guy, but we're just going to kind of reach out and talk to you guys, let you know a couple different things that are going to be going on here soon. Um, we've done some looking back at analytics on YouTube and our stuff, and we're just noticing a lot of viewers and the numbers are really going to a lot of the product side, not this. So we do want to say the guys who, the people who do view this and watch this, we appreciate it, but we are going to be switching the format a little bit, um, a lot of it. A lot and of it. we're going to be doing things to not just increase viewership, su subscribership, but then also interaction. So we do want to create more of that for you all. People like Stitch, uh, some of my other frequent commenters and I, I apologize I think Joanne's another one so we appreciate all of you who stick to it customers who are watching their knives being built we're going to try and switch up a few things so that way we're focusing more on that less of us because we're just noticing we're not the popular people <laughs> um, and that's not an issue we want to continue to try and grow this by giving you guys what you are clearly showing us that we need to focus on so we're going to have a couple different things one we're going to focus on knives a little bit more but then we do want to kind of communicate some things to you guys. We have gotten asked about knife sharpening, knife care, different types of knives, kind of give you content based off of our opinions with other knives so and our experiences as knife makers. So we're going to switch that up, kind of give it to you towards the end of the week with more of knife stuff throughout the week. So uh, once again, just kind of want to let you guys know who stuck with us this long doing it out in this format. We appreciate it. We love all of you. We want to continue that and continue interaction with you all. So thank you all. Uh, we're going to move this into a new direction so that way we continue to grow this because it has grown and we want to continue that. Uh, so thanks again. Uh, we'll wrap it up here for the last time and we'll see you guys in the new one.